Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Avery at T-Review and 2. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Halloween 2021 countdown, also named right here the Witchy Countdown. And full spoiler alerts, I'm going to get all into this box. Like, I'm going to turn it over. There's spoilers on the back of it. There's spoilers at the bottom. That's why I'm holding it like this. But so, I mean, it gets more and more spoilers, of course, as I open it. One last spoiler alert. This is the box. This is the box up close. And now we're going to... We've got eight magical loose leaf teas and infusions and two gummy flavors. All right. Here, we're going to turn it over on the back. So let's see what it says here. It says, when ghouls, goblins, and ghosts ring at your door, you know it's going to be a fun night. We've brought together our most spectacular teas, infusions, and premium gummies for a thrilling lead up to All Hallows Eve, ghost stories not included. And before we open it up, let's go over what's in it from the back of the box here. We've got worms, which is a worm-shaped gummy candy with fruit flavors. Got brains, which is brain-shaped gummy candy with fruit flavors. Monster Mash, which is a rooibos blend. Butterscotch Chai, which is a rooibos blend. Organic Stormy Night, which is a black tea blend. And these dots over here represent, of course, the caffeine levels, if you're unfamiliar with that. So no caffeine on the Rooibos blends right here, but three on the Organic Stormy Night. And we have Pumpkin Cream Brulee, which is a fruit infusion, caffeine free. And we have Candy Apple, which is a black tea blend. At one on the caffeine level, which must indicate that there's less black tea in this compared to like the Organic Stormy Night. And there might be other things that bring in the caffeine in here as well. But you know, that's pretty much what you're like, oh, it's a black tea blend, but it's less caffeine. That's kind of how that works. More or less of certain ingredients and whatnot. And then we have Witch's Brew, which is a rooibos blend, but it has one on the caffeine level right here. So it must indicate other ingredients with caffeine. Oh, the cocoa bean, or the husk, some caffeine coming from that right there. Low level, so low amount right there. And then we have Magic Potion, which is a fruit infusion, caffeine free. Pumpkin Chai, which is a black tea blend, and it's got two on the caffeine scale, so medium caffeine. And got some nutrition facts on the bottom here. And so you got the brewing instructions on the bottom of each, temperature suggestions and times, and the ingredients. And so now let's actually open this up and get inside of this box. Before we do, we will measure the box just so you got an idea of the size of this. Got about seven and a half inches across. Top to bottom on the high standing, a little over 11 inches right there. And it does stand up if you wanted to do that. And on the side, got about a little less than two inches, about inch and three fourths right there. Let's peel this part off right here, the sealing it. Whoa, look at that design right there. A little spooky season. Yeah, it looks interesting. Got some Roman numerals. Let's see how well I know my Roman numerals, I guess. It's just a one through 10, so I should not I should be okay on this. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's just look at up close here. Sticking with that same kind of color theme as the ghost, the pink, the yellow, the green, the purple. And we've got the little punch out, a little peel off things right here. We're gonna, we're gonna get into it. Another spoiler alert. We're gonna go from one to 10 each day, what's behind each door, starting now. Day one. Oh, day one here, we got pumpkin cream brulee, which I have not had. There it is up close. Well, this looks to be about two servings, depending on how much you use per serving. Davis T typically says one to two perfect spoonfuls per 16 ounces. So depending on how much you do there, this looks to be about two perfect spoonfuls right here. So you could get one 16 ounce cup if you use two perfect spoonfuls or two, depending on how many you use. And we'll weigh this out, 0.3 ounces right there. Kind of a plastic insert right there amongst the thin kind of cardboard paper going on right there. But it states what it is. Yeah, now let's go to day two. Can we find day two right there? Day two, we have Witch's Brew. Oh, let's pull the other one. 
So you got a little, got something slotted down right there from day eight, it looks. Okay, we got Witch's Brew right here. Get up close. And the weight on Witch's Brew is gonna be 0.4 ounces. And now day three. We've got Monster Mash, which I have a review. I've, I've done a review on Monster Mash. I checked out the link to that in the video or in the description for my thoughts on what I thought about the Monster Mash blend from last year, what I believe I did the review on that one. And here is Monster Mash up close. Monster Mash coming in at a weight of 0.3 ounces. I believe this is, this is day four, this is day six, right? I believe that's how it goes. It goes before the Roman numeral. With that, and we got Worms by Squish, which is affiliated with Davis T. Got about, let's see, looks one, two, three. Looks about three gummies right there. This kind of wraps around. Four gummies? No, I believe it's three gummies, yeah. And they're coming in at a weight, 0.6 ounces for the gummies. Now day five, got Magic Potion. Now believe, yeah, I do have a review as well on Magic Potion, so check out the links for that. If you wanna know my thoughts on the Magic Potion, I have a review on that. And here is Magic Potion up close. This calendar countdown, this countdown smells nice too. I can smell some of these blends coming out right here. It just definitely smells nice. These are all sealed and everything, but you know, you get the little ingredients that like to kind of sneak out. That's what's going on there. And the weight, Magic Potion coming in at 0.4 ounces. Day six, have Butterscotch Chai. Here is butterscotch chai up close. Butterscotch chai coming in at 0.4 ounces. Day is seven. Got pumpkin chai. To have a review on this as well. And here is pumpkin chai up close. Pumpkin chai weighs 0.4 ounces. And day eight. Oh, we've got the Brains gummy candy. Ooh. From Squish as well. These are squishy. Got three of them. And the Brains gummy candy weighs at 0.7 ounces. Day nine organic stormy night i don't think i've had this blend so i'm interested in checking this one out for sure here's organic stormy night up close yeah i've not had organic stormy night so i'm definitely interested in checking this blend out Organic Stormy Night weighs 0.4 ounces. Now I've read everything on the back. I'm not sure what the last day is. Let's see what it is. Day 10 would be, oh yes, Candy Apple. It's a black tea blend. I have not had Candy Apple. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Here's Candy Apple up close.
and candy apple is weighing 0.3 ounces. All right, and so everything pretty much weighing about that 0 0.4, 0 0.3 ounces. And got the gummies wearing up at like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 ounces, everything around there. And that is everything in the Halloween 2021 10 day countdown, also named the Witchy Countdown. Okay, so I'm gonna sip through it in October and like I've kind of already, I think day one was, uh, look at that. Oh, pump, I think it was a pumpkin cream brulee. Come on. Think so okay yeah right now i'm pretty, pretty fresh on my mind which day it is what but by the time i start sipping these it's going to be all another surprise for me but that is the complete inside of the davis t halloween witchy countdown hope you all enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed that cup of tea you've got take care